2 plus 2, 4, 7 plus 1, 8. So easy. Is there anything harder than this? Oh! Back in school, just admit it. We all hate math and school, But education doesn't have to be that way. So let's turn math into something fun. But hold up. Let's rewind the clock. When we want to make a game, we need an idea. So I start experimenting and come up with this. So the enemy is the question and we shoot him with a number. Every time we reload, we can enter a number and that number becomes our bullet, which I think is fairly cool. But since addition and subtraction is a kindergarten thing, I add more variations like multiplication and division, which I most suffer on. 6 divided by 9, yo yo what 6 divided by 9? Um, zero point oh. But since multiplication and division is an elementary school thing, I'm gonna add some roots and basic algebra. But since it's such a middle school thing, but since it's a high school thing, since it's a college thing, since it's a theoretical physics thing, so I add a simple quantum mechanics and theory of relativity. Anyways, I make the enemy walk toward the player and add a spawn system. Now our game starts to look like a game. But we need to make a model for the enemy, because come on, who wants to play with blocks? Oh sorry, I didn't mean to. Yes. So I make a 3D model in Blender, which I want it to be like a WALL-E inspired robot, with wheels, because it looks cool. Actually no, because I'm way too lazy to make a leg. Then I export it to Unity, add some colors, and voila, it looks pretty good. But I suddenly remember I haven't made a way to lose. If the robot touch the player, it needs to do something. But since I'm not that creative, I'm gonna use the good old Hollywood explosion. Then we're gonna give the gun some models, cause now, well, it's just a stick. I want it to be like a cyberpunk kind of gun, and after some time's modeling, I come up with this modified rifle which I think looks pretty neat. I also add some glowing effect for the number and the final result looks like this. So far, we have a decent looking gun, enemy, but the game still looks like a Nokia game. So let's improve the graphics. Then we're gonna add animations. I made a walking animation which is easy. Yet it took me a whole day to animate and a super cool shooting animation. That also took me a whole- So far our game seems finished, but it still missed something. Sound! I used my mouth to create a walking sound. And a shooting sound. Okay, that one sounds bad. So I'll borrow some sound from the internet. And now... Sound is complete. The game is playable, pretty much complete, but a game is not a game without a boss fight. So I come up with this monster computer inspired from this super huge crane thing. I give it some colors and moving parts. For the boss, we're gonna give it the hardest question possible. Na 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 na. Whoa! One, one plus one? Two. What? Hmm. 